Hello everyone and welcome back. I think it is time for us to start making some art for the game. So in this episode we won't be doing any coding. Instead you will have to watch me do some art for the game. And you will see that I am really bad at drawing and do that kind of stuff. But I will do it anyway. You will see me starting off by making the game area. I decided to do this in the affinity designer by using vector graphics because I wanted the edges to be really uh, hard and I decided to do the entire game area as one combined image you could go ahead and do everything separately like the walls and everything but since we have used um, invisible uh, colliders you could you might as well do them in a complete image. Something to remem remember when you are importing arch into Unity is yeah, if your sprites are white then you can change the color entirely as you want in inside of Unity. And when I'm done with the game area you will see me go ahead and create a few different paddles. Remember the shape of the paddles have a big influence on the game since we are using colliders for, uh, to decide how the ball bounces and not um, uh, mathematical formulas. So here you see me making a different kind, different shape paddles. And as I said, the shape does matter because it will decide how the ball bounces off.
I'm now finished with the paddles and the game area, so I'm starting to line everything up so that I can export them as a sprite sheet into a PNG file, which I can import into Unity. And remember to disable the background, so you get here transparent images. And when I'm done with this, I will move on to Krita. Here I have started Krita, where I use my um, drawing tablet to draw a few shapes for the bullets that we will use when the players can start shooting each other and a few different shapes that I thought we can perhaps use as particles later on. And the first thing I will do is to change the background color to black because we want to draw everything in white so that we can change the colors in Unity instead. Alright, that's it for this time. I hope you didn't cringe too much watching me do this. Well, next time we will import these assets into Unity and exchange all of our, our current sprites with them. Alright, see you then. Bye bye.